Oops. Sir, are you trying to speak something? I'm not able to hear you. No, wait, wait. Am I audible to all of you? Yeah, I'm able yeah. to hear you. Yeah. So we can start. Very good morning to all of you, to all my USA friends. Good morning. Yes, good morning. You can unmute yourself. You can keep your video on for better communication. I love to see all students face reactions. Great. Now Rohini, Mandar, Yashavir, Mandar, Vedak, Tanvi, Kozavi, Chitra, and Mehul. I think there are many students are actually going to come, but we can start. Almost we have five I'm minutes. Here. That's, uh, this is Tanvi, but my video is not working. I'm taking this on my cell phone, so I think that's the reason. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. If you keep your video on, no, so it will be a more better communication. Normally, uh, uh, it will be a face-to-face -face communication. So everyone, uh, please keep on your video uh, in case you have any uh, major issue, then you can keep off. Okay. But normally, uh, it will be always a great experience to see face-to-face -face students and interact with them in mathematics. Okay. So, yes, it's uh, great to see all. It's, uh, Sanvi Mankar, you are from grade 6. Correct. Kavya. Kavya Patil, you are age nine. Sanika, you are seven years. Okay, first grade. Ryansh, nine years. Now Rohini, Dhotre, Manda, Vengurlekar, Dhanisham Patil, you can write down your uh, uh, grade 
or age in which grade you are studying you can just write down and those students who are below 10 years now you can uh, tell your parents to sit with you okay below at least 9 years below so uh, those students who are nine, below 9 years age they can sit with the parents okay so hello everyone good morning good morning good morning good morning yes. please on your video those please, please on your videos I, i i want to see all faces sir uh, uh, i'm you know yes so i am actually on this demo session to understand the contents and things like that i mean i want to register my son okay, okay. so yeah i'm i'm his father so you know he he is not in a kind of with the same name so his name is divyam patil okay yeah, yeah it's okay it's okay it doesn't matter uh, you just uh, stay with or uh, if possible you can uh, keep your son with you okay it will yeah. be very nice experience if you keep your cameras on okay it will be very wonderful for all of you because in next one hour we are going to learn lots of things uh, we are uh, learning some calculations uh, we are learning some fundamentals of vedic maths okay so let's start ruchita chitra bapat tanvi yashvir Hi, uh, this is Tanvi. I'm parent of Kaushiki. I just sent a message on the chat saying that she is sitting with me, but my camera has some issues because I'm taking just it try, on the try phone. Try to uh, try to solve the camera if possible, so uh, it will be very easy to understand mathematics. So it will be a face-to-face -face communication because sure. uh, in this session, no, it will be a face-to-face -face communication is very much important. Otherwise, you uh, cannot enjoy the session. Okay. Right. 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 So thank why, you uh, it's a all uh, it's a kind request to all of you because i i always uh, love to see the reactions uh, uh, of all uh, students while they are solving they while they are speaking okay so let's start can we start are you ready with your notebook and pen are you ready with your notebook and pen show your thumbs yes very good very good we can start right now uh yeah this is now i will write uh, i would like to introduce myself first who am i and what i'm doing and uh, now then we can go for vedic mathematics first of all myself is vijay kulkarni uh i'm from india pune pune city you know pune pune maharashtra india and uh, i am a, a managing director and vedic Coach of this company, Parijat Academy E-Learning Private Limited, and we have received the Startup India certification from the state central government to promote Vedic mathematics in India and abroad. Okay, so we know uh, now India is now uh, uh, doing many things in Vedic mathematics, doing new things, and we got a chance to teach Vedic maths in India and abroad. we have received a startup india registration from central government and now from last 13 years i am teaching vedic mathematics to students why i am teaching vedic mathematics actually i have done my chemical engineering but i left my job and i started teaching vedic mathematics because when i when i myself when i started learning vedic maths when i learned vedic maths i got to know that this mathematics is very very much interesting and all students should learn it to uh, improve numerical ability to remove math phobia and to uh, remove the uh, dependency on calculator and mobile okay nowadays we all are very much addict addiction addictive on mobile and laptop and we are not using our brain so then i started uh, teaching vedic mathematics in school students uh in very rural area in uh, urban areas now in uh, metro cities now in abroad and then uh now 
we have designed some syllabus and we are now teaching in a very innovative ways where each and every student should enjoy mathematics. So just raise your hand or you can uh, type chat. Uh, do you like mathematics? If you, yes, you can type yes in chat box. Yes, and you can type yes in chat box. If you don't like mathematics, you can write no in chat box. Yes, everyone says yes, yes. Ryansh, yes, okay. Mehul, yes. Oh, most of the students like maths. Very good. Great. Kavya Patil, yes. Sanika, yes. Very good. Each and every, most of the students like mathematics. That's a great sign. That's a great sign. And uh, actually, this mathematics is also useful who don't like mathematics also. Actually, it is both important. Those who, who loves mathematics and those who don't love mathematics. This Vedic mathematics is applicable for both kind of students. Okay. So each and every kid, each and every student can enjoy this mathematics. So just write down yes or no. My question is, do you know tables up to 30? Yes, then write down yes. If no, then write down no. Do you know tables up to 30? No, no. Okay, no, no. Great. Great. No, 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 no. Great. Everyone is saying no, 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 no. Great. Great. Wonderful. And my next question will be, who knows table up to nine? If yes, then yes. And if no, then no. If you know tables up to nine, then write on yes. Fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful. So each and everyone like mathematics, very good. Each and everyone knows table up to nine, that's great. Very good. So see, see the difference. Most of the students don't buy hard table or cannot buy hard tables up to 30 or they, you don't know tables up to 30, but you know tables up to nine. If we can solve any types of mathematics by using tables up to nine only, then it will be magic, yes or no? Yes. If if I teach you to solve any kind of mathematics with the help of only tables up to nine only, from two to nine. So if you know tables up to nine, you can able to solve any kind of calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, squares, uh, many things. Uh, square root is there, uh, cube root is there. It is advanced level, but many things you can solve with the help of tables up to nine. If you know tables up to nine, that is a great sign. No need to buy heart any tables above nine. So that's great sign, yes or no? If you know table up to nine, that's great. Yes. So now you should be proud of you that you know tables up to nine. No need to buy heart tables up to 30. If you know tables up to nine, you can solve any kind of sum. That's great. So now I'm actually, I'm going to share one PPT. And uh, then I will explain what is Vedic mathematics. And then we are going to solve some uh, magical multiplication, magical calculations. You can solve it orally without calculator. Do you like to uh, solve mathematics without calculator? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yes, that's great. So now here, I'm just going to share the screen. We'll go with PPT one by one. You can uh, keep a notebook with you, write down where you, wherever you want to write down notes. Okay, Loki, uh, can you on your video, Rachita, Chitra, Nyara, Shah, Rohini, please on your videos. It will be a great interaction with all of you. That's great. Also bring your students in that uh, video so students can also enjoy Yashvir. Welcome to the Parajat Academy's e-learning private limited. Okay. 
so no, this is my small introduction as i told you i am a founder of direct founder and director of parikit academy i am a vedic math counselor and trainer and motivational speaker i am involved in vedic mathematics last uh, since last 13 years and teaching students in a magical environment and helping them to enhance school mathematics as well as social mathematics is my motto is my motto now many students like abroad from uk usa australia germany uae etc also taking online training from me and uh, i have been awarded by tb lulla foundation in uh, 2015 as a karya prerna puraskar you can you see this picture i have been awarded as a karya prerna puraskar in 2015 uh, for enhancing vedic mathematics for spreading awareness of vedic mathematics i have been awarded as a karya prerna puraskar it is a motivational award i received in front of 800 teachers government teachers so it was a very prestigious award i got it Uh, from tb lulla foundation you can see many students from tribal area from cbsc uh, some uh, icc students many students are uh, taking lessons of vedic mathematics they all are enjoying vedic mathematics now coming to vedic mathematics now see what is vedic mathematics first do you know what is vedic mathematics yes or no do you know what is vedic mathematics yes or no no okay so we can just see in a short what is vedic mathematics who will read this shlok can you read this like says a name given to an ancient which one read of you okay this is from the vedas Vedic mathematics is the name given to the ancient system of mathematics. It is the Indian ancient technique. Vedic mathematics is a bunch of uh, formulas, sixteen formulas, and it is the Indian ancient system of mathematics, which was which was rediscovered from the Vedas. We have a four Vedas in our Indian culture: Sama Veda, Rug Veda, Yajur Veda, Atharva Veda. From Atharva Veda, Vedic math has been founded. Now, next one, who will read this? Ishan. can you read this it's a unique technique of calculation based on simple principles and rules with which any mathematical problem be it arithmetic algebra geometry or trigonometry can be solved mentally mentally perfect perfect can be solved mentally so many types of calculations we can solve mentally many types of calculations we can solve mentally Uh, without calculator, any uh, arithmetic like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, algebra also we can solve, geometry also we can solve, and trigonometry also we can solve. Some trigonometric topics are there that we can solve also. So many things we can solve using simple principles and rules. There are very simple principles and rules in Vedic mathematics. Now he is the founder of Vedic mathematics. His name is Shankara Acharya Bharati Krishna Tirtha Maharaj. He is a name. He is the founder of Vedic mathematics. He founded Vedic mathematics by meditating for he did he did meditation for nine years in Karnataka in India. There is a Karnataka state in India. In India, there is a Shrungeri village. In in that village, in that forest, he meditated for nine years. And in from that meditation, he studied Vedas, Atharva Veda, and did meditation. And he spiritualized some formulas, sixteen formulas and thirteen corollaries. and bunch of all 16 formulas and 13 corollaries he named as vedic mathematics he born in uh, 1884 and he died or he took some maha samadhi on, uh, in 1960 in 1960 his name is shankara acharya bharati krishna tirtha maharaj his name is shankara acharya bharati krishna tirtha maharaj okay now coming where we can use vedic mathematics where we can use vedic mathematics we can apply vedic math in our traditional maths in our school maths we can apply vedic mathematics to uh, which will helps to improve score by 10 to 15% more by learning vedic math you can improve your school mathematics by 10 to 15% more you can increase your annual score by 10 to 15% more because it it will reduce our scratch work vedic math will reduce our rough work scratch work pencil work we can apply vedic math in competitive exams such as scholarship olympiad or any private competitive exams in usa or all over world you can give any competitive exams where only we have to select uh, any particular options okay objective type questions 
you can solve any objective type the type questions optional questions by using vedic mathematics in daily life like calculating grocery bills in market and other routine expenses and savings in business profession service in many uh, uh, we can places we can use vedic mathematics you got this point where we can use vedic mathematics in school we can use it in college we can use it in our office we can use it wherever if you are doing business we can do uh, you can use vedic mathematics in business if you are giving any aptitude test you can use vedic mathematics so vedic mathematics is everywhere if you know the technique of solving mathematics you can uh, achieve any achieve a uh, very good success in any competitive exam yes you know you need to know, know the technique of solving the mathematics you know you can just uh, take a screenshot of it also see there are four circles there are five circles not four circles there are five circles there are five circles there are five circles first circle is speed nowadays we have to improve our speed in mathematics yes or no we have to improve our speed in mathematics yes or no yes 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 so we have to improve our speed so vedic math helps to improve our speed but only speed is not uh, sufficient along with speed we have to also increase uh, improve our accuracy if our accuracy is good then speed is also works if our accuracy is not good then speed will not work only speed will not work so we need to improve speed and along with speed also accuracy do you agree with me we need to maintain accuracy so vedic math helps yeah. to improve our speed and accuracy vedic math helps to improve our speed and accuracy are you getting my point vedic math helps to improve our speed and yes, accuracy sir. and all of you we can say math phobia most of the time while going in the exam no while uh, facing the exam we always scare in mind while solving some questions and we always forget some questions we do some silly mistakes okay we forget to give some carry overs we did some we forget uh, to uh, solve with the steps okay many silly mistakes we always do in our exams okay so it is we can say it is a math phobia it is called math phobia so we are reducing we are reducing or removing math phobia do you want to remove math phobia do you want to remove math phobia yes yes so vedic math helps yeah, to yeah. yes Mad madhavi you want to uh, remove math phobia or no madhavi yes correct so we are helping you to remove the math phobia and you make make you confident to solve any types of some uh, in a very less time now external dependency major issue we all are very much addicted with calculator and computer but my one question is god has given us a very great tool with us within us who can tell me which tool we have which god has given us can you type in the chat box which great tool we have Br brain yes you can chat box type in the chat box i just wanted to see your uh, contribution very good sanika brain madhavi brain kozhavi brain yashvi brain very good brain laukik brain very good kavya brain very good so everyone knows we have a very greatest tool from our childhood when we born god has given a brain we have born with a brain and that brain uh, gives us immense knowledge immense knowledge so we can use our brain instead of calculator so do you want to use your brain as a calculator do you want to use your brain as a calculator yes or no yes correct then yes. last but not the least not but not the least logic logic is very much sorry logic is very much important if you don't have logic then we can face many problems in competitive exams 
So along with speed and accuracy, we have to improve our logic. Yes or no? Yes, you can use the yes. uh, virtual thumb. You can use virtual thumb or you can unmute. Okay. Yes. Get it? Yes. So which five circles we are doing while learning Vedic math? We are improving <clears throat> three, three things, speed, accuracy, and logic. We are improving what we are improving by learning Vedic math, speed, accuracy, and logic. And two things we are removing from our life, from our mind, or from our uh, practice, which is maths phobia. Which two things we are removing? Maths phobia and second one is external dependency. Second one is external dependency. So we can able to solve many kinds of sums without calculator orally. Without calculator orally. Okay. So we are going to learn this, how we can calculate orally. Are you interested to learn? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So participate 100% participate in this course. Uh, participate 100% what I am going to teach you. Just participate 100%. Keep your notebook and pen with you. Now we can just see multiplication by 11 or you can say magic of 11. Magic of 11. Multiplication by 11. Or we can say magic of 11. Magic of 11. The sutra we are using is only the last two. I will tell you what is only the last two. The sutra we are using is only the last two. Sutra means formula. Sutra is a Marat Sanskrit word. Sutra is a Sanskrit word. And sutra means formula. So multiplication by 11. So we are learning how to multiply any number by 11 orally without calculator, without knowing table of 11. Is it interesting? <clears throat> so let's yes. start. You wrote this yes. heading in your notebook. You wrote this heading in your notebook. Yes, very good. So now the 54, we have to multiply 54 by 11. We have to multiply 54 by 11 without using table of 11. See, my condition is, what is my condition? What is my rule? Without using table of 11. Without taking any carryover. Without taking any carryover and without using table. So we are going to learn how we can solve this. <clears throat> now, you can unmute yourself. Just answer me. What is the uh, ones place of 54? Or unit place or ones place of 54? Four. 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 Sorry. So we'll four. just write down four. We will just write down four at the right hand side of the answer. Four. Just write down four at the right hand side of the answer. Just write down four at the right hand side, uh, right hand side of the answer. What is the tenth plus here? What is the tenth plus? Five. 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 Oh, write down five at the left hand. Sorry. Five. Write down five. five at the left hand side. Write down five at the left hand side. Oh, five plus four equal to nine. Oh, mm. Mm, that big green. Mm. Okay. And now five plus four, how much? Nine. 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 So we will keep nine between nine. five and four. So what is our answer? Five ninety-four. Five ninety-four. Five hundred ninety-four. Five ninety-four. Is it interesting? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Your it is very easy without knowing table of 11, without any carryover. So now one more, 35 to 11, you solve in your notebook. 35 to, even without calculator, you solve it orally. 35 to 11, you, who will answer? 35 to 11, who will answer this? 385. 385. Okay, 385. Let's student answer. Okay. 385. Yes, great. Great. So 385, 5 as it is, 3 as it is, and 3 plus 5, how much? 8. Eight. Is, it interesting? is it interesting? Yes. Yes. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. So now, just solve this one, 72 into 11, just solve. 
and raise your hand who will answer this sanika can you answer this sanika 72 into 11 can you answer this yes yes sanika what is the answer it's like well, where i will keep 2 792 792 great great sanvik sanika very nice 792 into 11 792 into 11 now 85 into 11 now here look at here i am going to uh, teach you how we can solve the big numbers now 8 is the big number so 8 plus 5 how much 8 plus 5 how much 13 8 plus 5 how much 13, 13. so we'll write down 5 as it is now 8 plus 5 is 13 So we'll write down three as it is, and one will get carry over. See like this, thirteen. How we will write? One will get carry over, and three will be in the middle. And eight plus one, eight will be added in one. So one will be added in eight. So eight plus one, how much? Nine. Nine. What is our answer? Nine. Nine thirty-five. Wow, nine thirty-five. Isn't it interesting? Yes. Now seventy-three yes. into eleven. Now seventy-three into eleven. Just do it. Seventy-three into eleven. Just do it. Seventy-three into eleven. Who will answer? Eight hundred and three. Eight hundred and three. Eight hundred and three. Perfect. Now three as it is five. Sorry, uh, three as it is. Uh, so here, some mistake here. Just wait. Seventy into three. Three as it is. Seven plus three is ten. Carry over one and seven plus one. Eight. What Eight. is our answer? Eight hundred and three. Eight hundred and three. Perfect. Is it interesting? Yeah. Yes. Very yes. Good. Now we will learn uh, another trick. Write down multiplication by nineteen and how to multiply any number by ninety-nine or nine hundred and ninety-nine. It is a big number, but we can solve it orally. We can solve it orally. It is the Nikhilam Sutra. It is called Nikhilam Sutra. Nikhilam Sutra. <laughs> wonderful. Everyone is participating. Everyone is giving answer in the chat box. That's wonderful. Multiplication by ninety-nine. Nikhilam Sutra. You wrote it. Everyone wrote it. Yes. Fifty-four no, times ninety-nine. Fifty-four times. It is a big multiplication by school method. It is a very big multiplication, or it is a difficult to solve within a seconds. Can we solve it within five seconds? This multiplication without any table. Can you can you take a challenge without using any table and calculator? You solve it within five seconds. Can we solve it five seconds? Can we solve it? Yes or no? Can I solve it? Yes. So first, using okay. Vedic maths. Four minus one. Who will tell me? Fifty-four minus one. Fifty-three. Fifty-three. See, it is very interesting technique. Hundred percent give, uh, for give your concentration. Fifty-four minus one. Fifty-three. Is it easy? Is it easy? This is the half answer done. This is half answer done. Fifty-four minus one is fifty-three. This is half answer done. And you tell me what is nine minus five? Nine minus five. Four. Four. And nine minus three. Nine. Look, look at here. Observe. Uh, listen carefully. Nine minus three. जो भी left hand side किया है, whatever we have done in the left hand side, we have to subtract from ninety-nine. So nine minus five is four, and nine minus three is six. Six. So what is the right hand side then? Forty-six. So what 46. is our answer? Five thousand three hundred and forty-six. Is it interesting? Yes. Is it easy? Are you enjoying this or not? I am. Very enjoying. good. Very good. Now thirty-five into ninety-nine. Who will solve this? Kozabi, can you solve this, Ram Ramasi? 
Can you solve this? Yes. Can you please it answer will me? Become 34. Take away mm -hmm. one from 35. Take away I one. Okay. Yes. Hmm? Who will tell me this? Sanvi? 3465. Perfect. 3465 without calculator, without table. We have not used any table here. We have not used any carryover. Is it interesting? Yes. So now, three digit multiplication 897 times 999. This also we can solve in five seconds. Now, who will answer me this? Yes, I would like to see. Who will answer me? Just raise your hand. Those who want to answer this question, raise your hand. Yes, Kavya. Kavya, you would like to answer? Yeah. Yeah, so, Kavya. Now, what is the first step? Tell me the first step, which is left hand side. How we can find left hand side? To find the left hand side, um, you would subtract um one, one. from eight hundred ninety seven, which means eight hundred ninety six. Correct. Perfect. And what is the next step? Then you subtract 896 from 999, which gives you 100. So 9 minus 8. How much 9? 9 minus 8. Huh? 9 minus 8. One. 9 minus 9. 0. And 9 minus 6. 3. So our answer is 8 lakh 96,103. Is it interesting? Are you enjoying? If yes, you can write down yes in chat box if you are enjoying this. If you understood, you can just write down yes in the chat box. You understood this technique? You understood this technique? Yeah. Perfect. Write down. Perfect. Very good. Everyone is enjoying. That's great sign. That's great sign. Mm -hmm. Now we'll go for next. Now we have to solve this one. One by one, you can tell me. 98 into 99. Who will tell me? Veer, Varun, or Ramasi? Kavya. Kavya has already given the answer. Then many has uh, keep their videos off. If you can on your video and you can also uh, answer this question. Aryan Shah, Nyara Shah, Rachita K, Rajveer, you can also answer. So 98 times 99, just raise your hand. Who will answer this? Who will answer this? Yes. Yes, yeah, Shlok. Shlok is there. Shlok has raised your hand. Very good. Shlok, tell me the answer. What is the first step? Uh, Shlok. What is the first step, Shlok? Oh, um, you minus one. Minus one. So 98 minus one is 97. And? And then 99, I mean 9 minus 99. 9 minus 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 7? Uh, that would be 2. So what is our answer? 9,702. Perfect. Now 89 times 99. Who will answer this? Varun, Veer, Madhavi. Can you answer this? Kavya is there. Kavya, but Kavya, you have done. I, I would like to see from uh, Veer Jakta, Varun Hebe, and other students, those who have kept video on. So I cannot see you also, your hand. Riyansh, can you help? Can you give this answer? Yes, Riyanish. Go, yes. go ahead. So first, you subtract one from eighty-nine. Eighty-eight. And, and, then, and then you subtract eighty-eight from ninety-nine. What is that? The nine minus eight. One. Nine minus eight. One. So eight eight one one eight eight. One one is it interesting? Is it interesting? Yes. Now four digit. Now who will take this challenge? 
four, five, six, four times nine, 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 and who will solve this? Who will take this challenge? Five seconds challenge. Maximum ten seconds. Mehul, do you want to give the answer? Are you solving the sum? No. Are you solving this sum or not? You are not solving? No. Why you are not solving? If you are learning here, then you have to solve it, no? If you solve it, then you can uh, learn something more, no? Why Why you have attended this class? Why you attend this class to learn this Vedic Mass, no? So Ishan Kinikar, Ishan, can you can you give me the answer? Oh, first you subtract one from four thousand five hundred sixty-four. Yes. So what is the answer then? Forty-five lakhs, six hundred thirty-five thousand four hundred. Give me only LHS and RHS. What should be the LHS? Four five six four minus one is four five six three. Four five six three. And what is the right hand side? Then you subtract that from nine 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 nine, and I got. The answer will be five four three six. Four three six. Answer will be five four three six. So what is our answer? Four five six three, five four three six. This is our answer that we have solved without calculator within five to ten seconds. Is it interesting? Yes. Are you are you enjoying this trick? Yes. Yes. Then one more trick uh, we will uh, learn here. How to build a table of would, uh, would you like to learn table of seconds? Would you like to learn this 29 table of 29? How we can solve this? <clears throat> so now it is very interesting. We can uh, without by hurting any table, we can form this table within 15 seconds. Within 15 seconds. Okay, you will tell me, just tell me what is the ones place here of 29? What nine. is it? Nine. 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 So just write down the nine. descending order of nine. Write down the descending order. Write down, write down the descending order. What is the descending order of nine? Eight. Yes, write down this in your notebook. See, the half table we have done. Half table we have done. <clears throat> in five seconds, we have done half table of 29. Is it interesting? Yes. 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 Very good. <laughs> and then, what is the 10th place here of 29? Two. 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 Two is the 10th place. So what is the next number of two? Four. Three. What is next Three. number of two? What comes Three. after two? Three. Four. Three. Next number of two, I am asking. I am not asking you the table. I am not asking you the table of two. I am asking you or uh, asking you the next number of two. After two, what comes? Three comes, no? Three. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Add three plus two. What is three plus two? Five. Five. And keep adding five. three in each digit. Now, what is three plus five? Eight. What is three eight. plus eight? Eleven. 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 Plus three. Keep adding three in each digit. Eight. Eleven plus three is fourteen. Fourteen plus three? Seventeen. Plus three? Twenty. Plus three? Twenty-three. Plus three? Twenty-six. Plus three? Twenty-nine. Finish. We table. We finish table of twenty-nine. Is it interesting? So no need yes. to buy a table of twenty-nine. Yes. No need to buy a table of twenty-nine. We can form table of twenty-nine within fifteen seconds. So one, can you form table of nineteen in the same way? Can you form table of nineteen in the same way? Yes. Write down nine is there. Yes. So write down the descending order yes. in your notebook. Write down descending order in your notebook. <clears throat> and
and just observe the what is the 10th place here what is the 10th place one 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 so what is the next number of one two add two plus one two plus one three, three. keep adding two in each digit two plus three Five. Five plus two. Seven. Seven. Nine. Nine plus two. Eleven. Eleven plus two. Thirty. Plus two. Fifteen. Fifteen. Eighteen. So plus Seven. two, no? Plus two is fifteen. Seventeen. Seventeen, 17 and nineteen. 19. So 19. we finished table of nineteen and twenty, and which is the most difficult to remember? Which is most difficult to remember by school method? But no need to buy at any table right now. We can form table of 19 and 20 and our many tables. In the same way, you can form table of 39, 49, 59 also. Same. Is it interesting? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So, no, it is very, I am here reducing your burden. No need to uh, buy at any table of 30. If you know table of 9, you can solve any type of calculation. Or if you uh, if you don't know tables, you can form tables even in fifteen seconds. If you don't know table any table, if you don't know, you can form tables within fifteen seconds. You will be always to come. Uh, you will always come first in the competition of table formation. School in school, if a teacher takes a competition of table formation, you will be always uh, come first by this method. Okay. So now this one. Now coming to this point. Here. We are launching this 21 days course. First tell me, uh, you enjoyed this session? Yes. Yes. So yes. You to learn such techniques, many yes. techniques without calculator. Yes. Without yes. You have to learn this. Yes. Definitely. So now we are we have arranged a, a course of 21 days. It is the basic course of basic level. This is the basic level of Vedic mathematics, which which uh, which is having two modules. Now this course we starting from 25th of June. You can call your parents if your parents are besides you. You can tell them to attend this because this is important for parents. Okay. Now. We have arranged this 21 days course. It is starting from 25th of June. It is starting from 25th of June. You can take a, a screenshot also. Now, what is the syllabus we are covering here? See, this is the very important. What is the syllabus we are covering here? What is the syllabus we are covering? This is very important. This is the basic level we are learning in 21 days. Now see, well, there are two volumes. You will get two workbooks. You will get two workbooks of having these chapters. You will get two workbooks through email. You have to take a printout. And we are going to solve, we are we are playing birthday games. Birthday. Very interesting game. Birthday game is there, base numbers, complementary numbers, subtraction is there, subtraction topics are there, addition is there, fast addition, how to add, add the numbers orally. Then multiplication of 11 we have just learned. Multiplication by 12 is there, ninth number is there, LHS, RHS multiplication, vertical and cross wide. There is one test is there in volume one. In volume two, we are learning one unknown number game is there. One puzzle is there. One interesting puzzle is there. Very interesting puzzle is there. No vertical and cross by two digit multiplication. Base multiplications is there. Table formation, we are learning up to 99. Squaring of known numbers, squaring of adjacent numbers. How to divide any number by nine and 99 orally. How to divide any number by nine and 99 orally. Then fraction and in decimal form, how to convert any fraction in decimal orally. It is very interesting. We are learning here to convert any fraction in decimal orally. And we are learning the Bijank method, enhancement test and final test on basic level. You can take a screenshot for this because this is very important. What is the syllabus we are covering? You will get two workbooks, volume one and volume two. You will get two workbooks, volume one and volume two. Okay. And then, See here, this basic volume, Vedic level of Vedic mass contains two volumes, volume one and volume two, as I said earlier. Now it will be duration is 21 day. What is the duration here? 21 days. 21, 21 days. days. Then the date will, will start, course will start on 25th of May. 
it will run till 25th of june 25th of may to 20 because the, we are giving a saturday sunday holiday we are giving saturday sunday holiday so including holiday i have added two three days more i have added instead of 21 days that course may be 22 days 23 days it depends so it will be daily one hour atlanta time will be 10 to 11 in the morning atlanta time it will be in the morning session we can change this time if anyone is having problem with this slot okay if somebody has is having a problem with this slot we can change the time so uh, if anybody is comfortable with this time it is atlanta time or usa time 10 to 11 in the morning okay then saturday sunday will be off saturday sunday will be off this is a half off for you only our five days uh, five days in one week it will be five days in a week and workbooks will be provided through app we have our we are having our e learning app in uh, in play store we are having our e learning app in on play store you have to download that app after registering in this course and uh, from that app you will get a workbook you have to take a print out you have to download that workbook in mobile or laptop you can join from laptop also okay and daily online test we are giving you uh online test certificate will be given after successful completion of basic level certificate will be given after successful completion or each and every one will get a certification certification of participation a grade certification a plus grade certification okay now coming to this point now fees will be write down it will be point will be a 190 dollar write on this fees will be it will the fees will be 190 dollar and one bonus we are giving to you one bonus we are giving to you get video course free worth rupees dollar 100 so you will be uh, you will get a video course whatever i am going to teach <clears throat> you will get that video course free of cost you will get that video course and that course will be valid for 2 months that course will be valid for 60 days so after the camp or during the camp you can watch videos also after my after after the class so you can do practice by watching videos there we have provided online test separate online test you can watch videos and solve online test through that app so uh, uh, along with this course in it, it, it included in dollar 190 it included the course video course of 100 dollar so if you take admission by paying 190 dollar you will get the video course worth rupees 100 dollar are you getting my point in my point this is the bonus point for you this is the bonus point for you this is the bonus point for you okay you wrote this you can take the screenshot also you can take the screenshot if you want okay you took this kind screenshot yes so now this is also this is very much important how to pay so these are my bank details this is the bank details you can just uh, take a screenshot of this or take a photo on mobile and you have to transfer the uh, whole amount of dollar 190 or you have a indian bank in uh, india you can transfer online okay if someone is having problem to transfer with indian bank you can let me know we have a paypal account also also we have a paypal account also so if uh, you can pay directly through the bank that will be more easy if you have if you have a problems with paying bank online you can pay through paypal also are you getting my point okay write down this you can take a screenshot or you can take a photo you can take a photo of it so that uh, bank details are very much important <coughs> bank details are very much important write down this bank details <clears throat> write down this bank details each and every one write down this all of you write down bank details and after paying the fee you have to send with a screenshot or send with a receipt on the whatsapp after once you pay the fees you have to send a screenshot on my whatsapp okay yes sanika do you want to say something 
Sanika? Yes. You just had a question. Uh, can we pay in Indian rupees or do we have to pay in dollars? Yeah, Indian rupees. Actually, uh, Indian rupees approximately 15,000 is the amount. 15,300. Okay. So All you right. can convert in Indian rupees and you can send to uh, your Indian bank because uh, oh. I think 190 dollar around 15,000 rupees. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Right. Okay, so around 15,300 rupees something is there. You can check on Google. You can convert it in rupees and you can send it to me. Okay. So you can write down these all details. You wrote this detail? Yes. Yeah. So thank you. Now, uh, yes. Now you can ask me the query questions, any doubt. So is this the only batch you are going to have or... There will be more yeah, batches. Yeah. yeah, this is only one batch for USA. Oh, okay. because, but uh, it will be a, if somebody is having the morning issue, uh, we can take our evening batch also. No, we okay. are going on a vacation, so we won't be available for some few days. That's why we were like asking if there is another batch in July, we could have enrolled in that. Yeah, in July you can enjoy. Yeah, you can in July you can also enroll. But now in summer camp, uh, it will be a uh, this time only. Because okay. uh, yeah, because uh, after July, there will not be any group admission because this fee will get increased in July. Normally, this course cost is $300. Normally, for uh, two, three groups including. But now, the, is the, we are taking in a group for Maharashtra Manda or Atlanta or something. We are taking it in group. So that I, I have reduced my fee from $300 to $190. Okay. okay. Uh, so that it, it is because of the summer camp only, summer vacations. So we are getting the number of students. That's why we have reduced the fees. But after July or June, we are taking only one or two students in one session. That will be my fee will be three hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. Even uh, I have the same query. We are also going on vacation uh, for a week in between, ten days. So we'll okay. miss those uh, days in between. You can one, do one thing. If course. somebody is going for vacation, no, you can just book your seat. And you can book your slot and uh, we can start after uh, once you come back from the vacation also. But I need for that at least uh, uh, 10 students in a group. For individual, for individual, my fees will be around uh, $300. Okay. Okay. So that because I have specially purposefully, I have reduced my fee. Almost I have reduced $110. So because of we are getting students here. Okay. So you can, yeah, anyone is having doubt, time slots, is anyone is comfortable times? Yes, Sanika ji. Hi, uh, just one more question. Sanika is still having school on 25th and 26th. So is it okay we attend uh, just on those two days instead of her and then we can we can tell her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's possible. Uh, you can attend for two days. Call query, uh, will you be recording all the sessions in this course? Uh, no, we are giving the video course free, no? Okay, okay. So it will so be the same. In video course, each and every, everything is detailed, I have explained. Perfect. So no, so no need any, because those who will uh, enroll today, tomorrow, in two days, no? They all will get, uh, they, you will get the discount offer and you will get that video course free of cost. Perfect. So even so if you miss... For two months, you can uh, watch the videos and, uh, and repeatedly you can do the practice. Great. All right. Thank you. Okay. So actually, Shlok has the same problem. So we were wondering if there are more kids like this who have school on 25th and 26th. So is it possible to have like a session for them later on for those missed one or two classes? Yeah, yeah, sure. We can do it. Because there's if, 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 if you have an exam still 25th, we can start our course from 26th also. Uh, no, actually, our last day of school is uh, on 26th, so start from uh, after uh, that weekend. So we can start from 27 or something like that. You can, what you can do, you can just, uh, I'm taking the registrations right now. In three, four days, I will get some registrations. Okay. And most probably we can start in uh, in coming three, four days or after the school. If you are, if you are having school still 26, then we can start from 27 onwards. That is not an issue. So we can uh, uh, two, three days. It will be more in the next month. So that, that is not an issue. We can start on. Sorry. How many students in one batch? So almost uh, now uh, in this summer camp, almost uh, we are taking uh, 10 to 15 students maximum. 
okay we are uh, getting 10 to 15 students maximum minimum 10 students maximum 15 students okay we are taking it because there are many students uh, they have personally contacted me for the summer camp also they are also joining but they, uh, because of some reason they couldn't able to join the demo but they are uh, taking uh, enrollment doing enrollment uh, for summer camp is so actually in the summer camp we are uh, covering the basic level of vedic maths which is very much important and useful okay so and personally uh, i will be there yes lokik ji uh i I'm, i just want to know i am not able to download the app so is there uh, because the way you said that the app is only available on the uh, play store right so do we yes. have the app available for uh, on the app store as well for the peop uh, people who which are going type to of, use, which uh, mobile you have right now right now i'm using an uh, iphone huh, but i don't have iphone, any there is a different link for iphone this is on android it is applicable for I iphone i will give you it. those who are having iphone I will give you the different link to download the app. Um, okay. Okay. Otherwise, we can just can... access it over the. Uh, and you can access that app through laptop also. Okay, all right. That is not an issue. I will tell you. I will give you the link once you enroll. I will give you the link how to register uh, for app through laptop. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, anyone is having doubt, query? Just raise your hand. We, Rachika. Rachita, Yashvir, Ganeshram, Ramasi. Ra uh, hi. Yes, Rachita. Yeah, uh, Rachita. Um, so Rachita's parent here. Question about workbook. Um, how will we receive the workbook? Uh, yeah, if, if we will. Uh, that workbook you will receive through our app. Once you download our app, we will upload workbooks through the app, and you have to just download that app uh, workbook from the app in your mobile or laptop, and you can take a printout from your area. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that you will get from the app only. And how uh, and how much is the workload? Is like every day, how, like what is the expectation? No, no, from actually, the each and every session is uh, wonderful because uh, from next 20, 22, 23 days, each and every day will be a very enjoyable, exciting, wonderful. We have uh, structured or designed the uh, course in a such a way that each and every kid will get uh, involved uh, till the last moment of this course and only the homework will be almost of daily. At least we need to take a, a find a 20, 25 minutes daily. Okay. So not more than that. Like 30 the, minutes after the class, there would be a, like 30 minute homework. That's yeah. At least 30 minutes homework daily. Okay. And also we are providing the video course, which you can watch uh, many times and you can uh, do practice by watching this. So that is not an issue. That will be easy for you. Yeah. Like, class like since you teach in a very good way probably the kids would be engaged during the class yes. my only concern was if the homework is too much you know homework is yeah, what like they don't want to do it during the summer so that's the problem okay, we are we you. are assigning the daily online test on each topic through our app they have we are assigning the objective type questions there is online test or uh, almost 20 questions 15 to 20 questions on daily basis it is a five minutes 10 minutes online exam daily okay okay and they are they need students need to solve the workbook page only worksheet only which i have which i will be providing okay and is there expectation that we have to upload that worksheet completed worksheet back or something no 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 like actually whenever i required i will say i will say uh, ask you to send it on my whatsapp or upload in the app also okay because uh, we are also uh, solving the workbook in the uh, course itself in the duration of the course itself i will be uh, solving some uh, sums from the workbook also. Okay. But, uh, that is not an issue. Whenever I feel somebody is not doing homework, then I definitely uh, ask uh, or uh, him or her that workbook from a mobile. So uh, this is my as per my observation. Uh, whenever I feel this student is not doing, or these students need to uh, do some improvisation, so I will uh, keep watch on him or her, and I will uh, work accordingly. That's okay. And when, the, when you say that every day there would be a test, so how would they be answering the test? Is it online on the it laptop? Is, online. is it objective of oral? Yes, like uh, 32 into uh, 32 multiplied by 11. What is the answer? Okay. You need to just type 352. Okay. Okay. Or okay. many questions are uh, objective type questions are there. Okay. Thank you. Objective types questions are there. They are very interesting. Student can able to solve in five minutes orally without calculator. So all questions are very interesting and very easy, simple. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone, anyone more? Just one more 
So are we starting on 25th or 27th? We can, we can uh, postpone on 27th. Okay. We can postpone on 27th. Till then we can do registration. You can just book your seat within two, three days. Or, and you can send me the screenshot because I need a confirmation from you. Okay, so it will be nice if you confirm me your seat uh, within two days uh, and you can uh, transfer the fees within two days and send me the screenshot of it. So at least I need uh, 10 students <clears throat> and uh, mostly three, five, uh, three, four students are already, they are interested. Uh, they, are, they are not in the demo, but uh, they are interested. Okay. So I hope uh, now I can able to solve your queries, doubts, and uh, also you can- you I'm, sorry, have I have, the... I'm sorry, I have one more question. Yeah. Uh, is there a specific grade this course is targeted to? Like I have a, seventh, a rising seventh grader and a rising fifth grader. So, so is yeah, there a specific uh, the grade? The grade should be above fourth and, uh, grade should be fourth and above. Okay. okay. Okay, below fourth, we are not allowing. Okay. Okay, and minimum do you think it will be helpful should... for a seventh grader or is it too too simple for a seventh grader? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, fourth and above anyone can uh, apply for this course, any student. Thank you. Okay, because but uh, only six years, six year students, seven year or below fourth grade means second grade, third grade students not allowed. Okay, first grade, second grade students not allowed. Not allowed. Oh, they're but, not allowed. Uh -huh. Anita, second year, second grade student. So I don't think you can. Second year. So he, she's a, you have a son or a daughter? Daughter. So daughter, she, she is going in second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it depends on how much uh, she's uh, uh, talkative and uh, aggressive in mathematics. Okay. Then okay. we can, it, it will be an exceptional case. Many times some ex exceptional cases are there. They can able to catch the Vedic mathematics because sim te techniques are very simple, but depends on their capacity, brain capacity and their mood. Some <laughs> students are very moody. So that's why normally I avoid such students because they don't, uh, they don't follow the instructions. So many times they uh, don't uh, do the homework. So I don't want to make my, my impression bad about Vedic mathematics. <laughs> Got it. So it's your responsibility to uh, make your child or your daughter uh, helpful for Vedic mathematics. Yes, Madhavi, ma'am. Uh, my daughter is rising third grader. Uh, she is supposed to be in fourth grade, but because she is October born, but uh, she is rising third grader, and uh, uh, she knows up to uh, table up to ten. That's so she is going in fourth grade. No, no, no. She is going in third grade, but she is supposed to be in fourth grade. But she is yeah, like October one, so she is lacking one what year. What is her age right now? She is nine. That is okay. Nine is okay, but uh, okay. below nine is not possible. Nine, if he, if he, she is nine, then it is okay. 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 Thank you. Minimum should be nine. Minimum nine. Okay. okay. Nine running not completed. Okay. Nine running is okay. That is not an issue. Okay. But make uh, make sure she uh, is a talkative and uh, good in mathematics. Basically, yeah. she should be good in mathematics. Yeah, she likes math and uh, she an can issue. do it. I, I know yeah, she's not an it. issue. Tricks are very simple. So we are uh, yes, Mehul. Mehul. If I'm going the fourth grade, could I join? Yes, Mehul. If I'm going to fourth grade, could I join it? Yeah, you can join. If you are going to fourth grade, you can join. Yes, anyone is having more doubts or any queries? Koza being Ramasi? No. Ramasi, do you have any doubts? No. You understood the topic? Yes. Very good. So I think uh, I, I, I have solved many queries and your uh, doubts, everything. So we can be, uh, we'll be in touch uh, through WhatsApp. Uh, do you have my WhatsApp also? Each and everyone is in the group, no? You, you yes, all are in the group, you know, work, you know, WhatsApp group, no? You all are in the WhatsApp group? Yes. So uh, we can, actually, I will send you the details on the WhatsApp group also. And uh, you can contact me personally. This is my mobile number. I will give you my mobile number. Uh, you can just write down. 
this is the plus nine one is the country code india plus nine one eight zero triple five seven double nine six five write down the my mobile number Plus ninety one eight zero triple five seven double nine six five. This is my mobile number. Write down. Also, I will share in the group. Also, I will share in the group. Okay. So just uh, I just wanted to confirm who want to enroll for this uh, camp. Veer, Kavya, okay, Madhavi, Ishan, also, Kozavi, yeah, Shlok, yeah, Sanika is also there. Sanika, uh, you, uh, you want to enroll? Sanika would love to enroll, but she is uh, just seven years old. But so what I you can do, you can just try be... for her. I will be sending you the video course also. And you can also, if you can sit with her and sure. you can explain, that will be okay because she is in first grade. So uh, take care of her only, that we can allow. Mehul, you are also enrolling. Yeah, Mehul, Varun, Varun, you are enrolling. Just raise your hand. I don't know. Okay, and Ganesham, Yashvir, Rachita. Uh, half to see. Yeah, you want to enroll, no? I might enroll. Yeah, so you can just enroll within two days and confirm your seats. Yeah, Madhavi also enrolling. That's great. Each and every want to enroll. So okay. just give me the confirmation within two days and uh, then we can form a separate group and uh, we will send you the uh, our e-learning app link also once you uh, enroll. We have to fill the enrollment form. I will send you the enrollment form link. Okay, there is a link on website. I will send you the website link. In that website, there is the enrollment form. You have to fill the enrollment form. Okay, so I will send it to you. And uh, now uh, I think uh, it's time uh, to conclude the session. We'll conclude the session and mostly uh, I would like to uh, request you if you like this now you all, all have enjoyed if you have any friends and uh, also you can you want to suggest them this course you can also suggest if you have any friends or your brothers sisters any relatives in in USA okay in USA only you can just recommend this course they can also enjoy this course okay. So now just we are concluding this session and uh, thanks to all for participating this uh, demo session. I would like to see forward for this uh, basic level and do registration as early as possible and tell to your friends to enroll also. So bye-bye, take care and have a nice day ahead. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Yes, Kozavi. Yeah.